Which is better, In-N-Out Burger or Whataburger? In today's video, I wanna focus on a question that pops up from time to time. Here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, In-N-Out Burger has only been around for about nine years. In-N-Out has set up shop in Texas and most of the major markets, but the bulk of all Texas locations are here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. On the flip side, we have Whataburger. Established in Texas, in Corpus Christi in 1950, they have been serving Texans for over 70 years. So let's dive into the video and see who's doing it better. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, can I get, let me get one hamburger. Can get into the car today? Uh, no, thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. All right, first hamburger down. Uh, can I get, let me get a Whataburger, just the burger though. Okay, would you like to use on that? No, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. First up, Whataburger. So both of these, I did regular burgers, hamburgers, no cheese, no nothing, exactly the way it comes. So first up is Whataburger. Let's get this thing open and check it out. Now finally, In-N-Out Burger. Same thing, just a hamburger, no cheese. The way it comes, In-N-Out calls it a hamburger. Whataburger calls theirs a Whataburger. Let's get this one, try this one out. Okay guys, now we're here at the house and I am ready to answer the question, which is better? Let's get right into it. So the three things I'm gonna to wanna to go over in this video are one, being price, two, being appearance, and three, being taste. To me, price and taste are probably the most important. I don't really care how my burger looks. I really just, because sometimes the worst looking burgers are the best burgers. First, let's talk about price and we're talking about In-N-Out Burger. This hamburger alone, $2.60 plus tax. So you can pick you up a burger for under $3. Next, the price of the Whataburger. Just the burger alone is $3.99. Now you can kind of tell by this picture here that the Whataburger is a little bit bigger in size. I don't feel like it was a dollar more. I mean, I, I don't feel like I got a dollar more worth of burger. So it really comes down to the taste because In-N-Out Burgers definitely got Whataburger beat by price. Let's get into the next thing, which is appearance. For appearance, you can see a couple of the pictures that I'm putting right here. So this is the Whataburger and this is the In-N-Out Burger. Both are really good looking burgers, but now I wanna get them cut so you can actually see what the burger looks like. All right, now that I have my knife, let's get these things cut open and kinda of see the appearance of each burger. Okay, so I cut each burger in half right down the middle, just so I can kinda of show you the inside of the burger and that way you can get a feel for the appearance of the burger and how it is when you actually buy it. Because everybody knows a burger looks totally different from the picture than what you actually get. So, here's the Whataburger. This is what comes inside the Whataburger. So, here in Texas, Whataburgers automatically, and they're one of the only ones that I know the burgers automatically come with mustard. A lot of other places, uh, they're either ketchup or mayo, mayo and mustard, mayo and ketchup. A lot of burger places are all different, but Whataburger is one of the main ones that I know of where their burgers automatically come with mustard. So to me, because I like mustard, I think that's really cool. You can check out the In-N-Out Burger. The In-N-Out Burger almost looks like a homemade burger. It looks the closest to the picture that they advertise. So, and it had crunch when I cut through it. I think that's because they offer a whole onion versus Whataburger's chopped onions. It actually looks a little bit better and what in an out burger, they're a little bit different because they use more of a hamburger or a sandwich spread than mustard or any kind of condiment that goes on top of the burger. So by appearance, I think that in an out burger has got that one also. Like I was saying earlier, at least to me, appearance is not the main uh, factor when it comes to buying a burger. It's taste and price. So, and, and even price is kind of, I can, I can, 
fluctuate a little bit with price. The main thing is taste. Is it a good burger? Now let me get into the Whataburger. I'm actually gonna bite into this one right here because it's a little bit more full and I think I'm gonna get more flavor from the hamburger. It's a really good burger. Right off the bat, I taste onion, I taste mustard, and I really like it. I can taste the tomatoes, I can taste all the flavors of the burger, and it's really good. There's nothing wrong with this, this is a really good burger. What a burger is really good, it's a really good burger. Like I said, you taste the, I tasted mustard right away. Mustard and onion is what I taste right away. If you have Sonic in your area, and I, and I know there's a lot of people out there that love Whataburger, and I'm not bashing Whataburger, but this burger right here, the plain burger, it almost tastes like a, like a Sonic burger with mustard. I mean, just because the ingredients are almost the same. It uses the same chopped lettuce, it uses the same chopped onion, tomato, mustard. To me, it almost tastes like a Sonic burger, but that doesn't mean it's not good. It's really good. I prefer Whataburger if I'm going to a fast food burger chain. And it's, if, if I need one quick, I prefer Whataburger. It's close, it's convenient, and it's good. Next is the In-N-Out Burger. Now this burger here, right off the bat, I taste like a, it, it's, I know it's a sandwich bread, or I know it's a spread they use, but I taste it almost like a tomato -y taste. And the one thing different I noticed with taste versus the In-N-Out Burger over the Whataburger is the toasted bread or the toasted bun. I really noticed, I can really tell that their bun was toasted. It was one of the last things I was tasting and I, you can just tell, it's like, oh, that's a toasted bun. So when it comes to taste, this is a hard one. I actually think, so my personal opinion, when it comes to which burger tasted better, you gotta keep in mind, I only bought a burger. I didn't buy anybody's special burger. I didn't buy any kind of secret burger that they have on a secret menu. I bought just a plain hamburger, not even cheese. And out of the two, just when it comes to a plain hamburger, I prefer Whataburger. The Whataburger just tastes better. I like mustard over the spread. I like the onion taste. But also saying that, you know, I've had each one of their cheeseburgers. And when it comes to the cheeseburger, for some reason, I like In-N-Out Burger. It might be the cheese. They use fresh cheese. I don't know what it is. But when it comes to a cheeseburger, I like In-N-Out Burger. But right now for just a hamburger, I like Whataburger. I didn't get into you know, in and out secret menu or not so secret menu, whatever they call it. I didn't get into their other burgers and I definitely didn't get into Whataburger and the the special burgers they put out on, on, on a limited time basis. Then you're getting into, you know, they have something that this one don't or they have something that this one don't. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted to compare something that was equally matched uh, between both chains. That being said, I mean, go check out uh, Whataburger. Uh, if you haven't had any of their special burgers, I mean, check this out. Look right here. It's a Pico de Gallo burger. Amazing. They have this. It's a Dr. Pepper float. I've never had one. I don't really care for ice cream, but I know a lot of people that like Dr. Pepper. And look, they have a Dr. Pepper shake. I'm sorry. I said float. They had this Dr. Pepper shake. This is really weird. In and Out Burger, they have animal style. They have different ways you can mix your burger up, different combinations you can mix it up. It's pretty plain. It's pretty simple the way you mix it up, but. I really like the way they keep things simple and their product is good. That's it for this video. If you have each one in your area, which one did you like? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments section. I want to hear from you guys. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more versus videos like this, of this versus this on food, uh, let me know, send me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video.